Hello everybody and welcome back to today's episode of Virtual Truck Driver Daily. Today's episode is number 360 and it's called the Anniversary Trip Day 1. We are just leaving Ululu in Finland now and we're heading to Cambridge. As I said yesterday though, this is no ordinary trip. We are going to go on a trek through Europe instead of just catching the ferry. Um, we're going to drive a good chunk, well, 3,601 kilometres to be exact. I don't have a run sheet for you at the minute because this trip is still ongoing, as in I'm still recording the final parts of this trip. I think I've just finished recording day three. But uh, this is a trip that the Swift planners were very helpful with um, helping and Swift group VTC as a whole to be truthful they they helped quite a lot with this trip when I said I want to do an absolutely trip to end all trips so we're going to drive through the countries that I have loved driving in the most this past year um, there are other countries I wanted to do but I can't track all the way down to Austria and Switzerland and Spain because this load is supposed to be in Cambridge in five days, six, six days, five days, six days, I'm not too sure. So, I'm just gonna go through the most I've driven, uh, the most I've driven, and some most recent ones as well. But pretty much all of these countries I'm about to drive through are enjoyable countries to drive through, especially Germany. So, I'm driving through Finland now, and I'm not saying Finland's um, crap. Let's be honest, I want to do some more driving through Finland. I want to use Finland to go through to Russia again, and that, that's hopefully on the cards in the next few weeks. But more, more to come soon about that. So I just wanted to sit here and just grab it on about the about VTDD and everything. When I started doing um, editing, recording, virtual truck driver daily. I had probably the worst computer spec system. It was unreal. Windows Seven. I had a two hundred gigabyte hard drive. I picked this computer up cheap. Yeah, I did my own little custom work to it. Like I added the Asus GeForce nine seventy five. Uh, no, no, 750 Ti graphics card, and that's what I used to start record. That's why I was recording that. Well, that's what I used for the first 200 episodes of Virtual Truck Driver Daily. Seriously, and then when, and then I obviously got my. I'll paint myself in the microphone. Obviously, I've got the um, Now system, which runs it a lot better. But uh, I ran the graphics setting on low and everything, just so I, just so that the shadow play didn't take away more frames from me. Because obviously I needed the frames to keep the game rate going. I remember the first like 150 episodes, I had to put a little warning on the front going, um, what was it? Um, I apologise for any. Um, for any lag or any graf graphics like um it's not my fault <laughs> i've got a i've got a really bad system i remember having to put that on the front of knowing of every episode especially them times when i weren't doing all all of this editing and time lapse and when i was just you know just putting the raw footage up it was like 45 minutes a trip i still do 45 minutes well to get all of day one day two day three day four all together for this trip I'm doing roughly about 45 minutes with driving in real life um, but yeah, but yeah the, some of the trips I went on were mad I absolutely loved just absolutely loved it to be truthful just, I, know I've, I know I had that long period off but unfortunately my, with my health conditions I've got, I've got to stop as soon as I feel ill because if I don't I just run myself into the ground it's um it's a shame really when I have to think about it like that but hey ho 
that's life. I've got to work around my problems. We've all got to work around daily problems every day. But I remember it was the 15th of October, it was um, Virtual Truck Driver Daily's episode number one. 1st of October 2015. That's mad. Some people are going to go, but that's two years away, James. How can, how can you be like, having an anniversary now? Because I had three months off in the middle, didn't I? And I went very well. And I had the windows done in the house. So, yeah. But I, I remember just getting the raw, getting the raw videos and just putting them on YouTube. It used to take like ten hours just to upload. Just when I was when I wasn't editing and I was just gonna run straight through from point A, from pick up to drop off. I even had one episode that was one hour nineteen long. It took well over. 12 hours to upload obviously now I've got a system that can support video editing and I've got a processor now that speeds it all up so I can get it rendered before YouTube renders it so it, cu it cuts down the process by about an hour but it, it's, it's just mad though I remember I just remember sitting in my bed one day and I couldn't sleep because I suffer with sleep insomnia as well so I was um, sat in bed one night going, I want to do a series, I want to put, I want to show off the fact that I'm in Swift to this Super VTC and that I'm driving some brilliant trucks with that little big blue to scan here, uh, the open part mod from Chris, Chris Bourne, I'm sorry I've got that name wrong, I'm so, so sorry, um, but I just remember laying in my bed one day going, I want to do a daily YouTube series, a Euro Truck Simulator. I went through a um, load of different names like Fat Man Trucking or um, Beep Beep Get Out of the Way. <laughs> Coming through in a big rig. Uh, what else do I want to call it? Sc uh, Scania's Daily Trips, Big Blue's Daily Trips. Oh, I went through a lot of them, it was hilarious. And then one popped, popped into my mum's virtual truck driver daily. And here we are, 360 uh, episodes later. In fact, actually, this one's coming to an end. So I'll see you tomorrow, where I'll just reminisce a little bit more and you'll all get bored, probably. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care.